Welcome to Crusader Kings 3 with the Northern Lords DLC. So, in this series, I want to try to go for the Canute the Greater achievement. Now, that is where you have to, as an unreformed tribal, form the North Sea Empire. There's just one problem with this. I've been having problems with many of the new achievements. The, there's one achievement that I actually got, but didn't get. So, I don't know what was going on with that. And King of the Isles, which was the original achievement that I wanted to try to get, that just straight up doesn't work in game for some reason. So the achievements, the new achievements have been extremely buggy. I'm going to hope that this one isn't bugged, but let's get into things. It would be probably easier. In fact, it's definitely going to be easier to do this in Wrath of the Northmen because there's more tribal people to choose from. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do because that's the start date that this DLC is based around. Uh, here we are in 867. So we have all these beautiful Vikings here, raiding England and just everything, basically. If you exist, Vikings probably exist there, too. <laughs> so it could start as, like, an obvious choice, like Upland. Or, Sh actually, Shalom would make more sense, because Shalom owns a lot of Denmark, which is one of the three kingdoms that you need to own for the North Sea Empire. I kind of want to start as somebody small, like... Maybe start as this guy here, Vestfold. Yeah, start as Vestfold. And form the North Sea Empire from there. I don't hate that idea. I could do the crazy thing like <laughs> start in Ireland and then form the North Sea Empire from there, but there is a problem with that. You have to form the North Sea Empire before the Norse tech group, I believe. I forget exactly what it is, but before some tech group reaches. Uh, before a culture group, sorry. Before a culture group reaches high medieval. So. That'll be interesting if I were to start in Ireland and form it like that, but no, let, let's just do the sensible thing. It's not as Vestful here. I think they are probably a good pick for this. And I'm going to leave all the game rules on defaults, except, of course, turn on Ironman because, well, like, Ark got achievements otherwise, so that's cool. Yeah, let's get into things. Okay, so what do we have here? So I am Harald Dar Ferher. Oh shit, I'm a. Okay, I'm a uh, ancestor of uh, Harold Tadrada. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. That actually makes me feel a lot better about this. That's that's pretty damn cool. So, I'm a martial character. Uh, let's take a look at my traits. So, I'm calm, which increases my diplomacy intrigue, increases my stress loss, but it makes my dread decay increase. That's fine. And other calm characters like me, but wrathful characters don't. I'm brave, which is actually a virtue for the Estreyu faith. And plus two martial, plus three prowess, plus ten attraction opinion, plus five vassal opinion. But I have an increased chance of dying in battle, so that kind of sucks. Ambitious is just a great trait, but it increases your stress gain and makes ambitious people hate you. I'm a flexible leader. I'm actually quick. That's not bad. My spouse is not quick. Hmm. Not a fan of my spouse, but I can work with that, I suppose. And I'm an novice hunter. Okay. But how old am I? Oh, I'm 17. Okay, so I'm young as fuck. Alright, let's go down, Marshall. I'm thinking... Probably go down... Either strategist or gallant to start. I think the right side of gallant is pretty good from what I remember. Yeah. Because the main way I'm going to be getting money as an unreformed tribal is from raiding. So yeah, let's get... Uh... Yeah, let's take chivalry focus. Go down the right side of Gallant, and then we'll see where to go from there. There we go, I've also fixed the music now, because for some reason the music wasn't working in-game, for some reason. So. The leader of our culture group is the Jarl of Upland. That's a shame, because he's a fucking idiot. Um, well, I aim to change that, so... Yeah, right now... Yeah, we have a lot of techs unique to us up here. That's pretty damn nice, actually. So I think I'm going to wait to make my retinue, or not my retinue, that's what they're called in CA2, make my men-at-arms until I see what my neighbors do so I can just purposefully counter them. Because, yeah, what is my capital duchy? So my capital duchy is here and here. Okay. So unfortunately, yeah, Stalin owns part of my capital duchy, which is a little dangerous, but I'm sure we could do just fine with that. And, yeah, I think that's everything I really need to look at. But, well, I guess I can look in here. A great blot. I want a prisoner before I do that. I can go hunting, I guess. 
Eh, I kind of want the money. Oh, I can determine a personal deed. Yes. So, I want to take Uller. Uller is just honestly my favorite out of these gods here. Just because you could be cheeky in the winter, and I really like that. <laughs> Alright, let's unpause. Okay, first things first, we have an escaped thrall. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to hunt him down myself, I suppose. And I succeed it. Excellent. Nobody escapes from me. And I'm already sick? Well, damn. Okay, uh, let's take... How expensive are they? Uh, give me the enthusiastic guy. The, the experienced guy is too expensive. Well, shit. Alright, you know what? I'm young. How many members of my dynasty are there? Uh, five living members. Oh, boy. <laughs> Joy. Uh, I could recruit this man. What is he good at? Uh, he's a really good general. Oh, yeah, he can join. I, I need good generals for when I go raiding. Speaking of which, actually. I need to... Actually, I guess all my people, what they're doing now is fine. Because, yeah, I'm a tribe, so development doesn't really do much. And I'm going to stay as a tribe for the entire campaign. Right, what have my neighbors chosen? You have chosen Vigimen. So Vigimen are one of the unique things to the Norse. And, yeah, they are a archer replacement that is more defensive than the regular archers. Now, uh, what has Jalen chose? Uh, they've chose the Bondi, which is a spearman replacement, I believe, yes. That is... I would honestly just say a direct upgrade. Um, they're not very good in, like, mountainous terrain, but otherwise they're great. And they also counter archers, which normal spearmen don't counter. Yeah, so the Vigimen, they're archers, right? Just gotta double check that. Yes. I might get me some Bondi, then. Bondi are cheap, and they counter archers. I don't hate that idea. Do I just go up to a full five? Maybe. I do need men. Because right now I'm rather weak. Yeah, it's going to cost me a lot of prestige, but let's go up to five. Whole five. That'll give me a nice army to work with. And while I'm at it, I'm going to uh, increase my tribal authority. Get that going. All right, that should be pretty good. My wife is pregnant. Good. I can get a war horse. I actually kind of like this. 20% night effectiveness sounds pretty damn good. Like, if I'm just stacking up a ton of night modifiers, I assume my army quality will be pretty damn high. Ah, good. I'm no longer sick, and I've got a stupid-ass hat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my hat's gonna start talking to me. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Yes, no, he, he can have that name. That is a lovely name for this smart boy. And I will train my son myself. I am the only one who can train him, for I am the only one trustworthy enough to train him. Alright, how are my uh, Bondi doing? Alright, they're recovered? Good? Yeah, my neighbor is crap. Let's kick his ass. County Conquest, inferior, good. Raise armies? And there we go. Yeah, he's not going to survive. I counter his men-at-arms. I have more soldiers, better quality. Yeah, he's screwed. Well, now we just got to do the siege. Oh, he made a uh, last-ditch effort to stop me, but that wasn't going to work. All right, good. Let's increase control. There we go. It just didn't work at first for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to hold that myself. This is my capital duchy, so I might as well. I have a martial perk, so let's toss that into stalwart leader. There we go. It reduces the risk of commanding armies. Alongside Brave, I'm probably, like, at the point where a normal commander would be. <laughs> so that's yeah, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Offer a concubine, huh? Oh, yeah, I do need concubines, don't I? Otherwise, I get a prestige hit. All right, yeah, sure, I'll take a concubine. And I have prisoners now, so let's go ahead and hold a great blot. Or a grand blot, whatever. Uh, it would be a little expensive, but you know what? All the freemen of my domain shall come. And then I will go raiding afterwards to uh, get more prisoners for another future blot. The Grand Blot. Yep, tradition matters. The gods shall taste human blood. So, let's see here. Who would be the best one to sacrifice? They're all probably lowborn, aren't they? Yeah, they're all lowborn on landits. So really, it's just like whoever I don't care about. Then, like this guy. Whoops. This guy I don't care about. His stats are crap. Like everybody else I might consider recruiting, but this guy, no. He's the sacrifice. Let's actually take a look at everybody else. Uh, you're the most capable warrior here, but even still, you're not very good. Yeah, all my commanders are better than he is, so I don't need him. I guess I'll just execute everybody for uh, piety then. Because yeah, that's the thing you can do as a Norse. You can execute for piety. Sacrifice. 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 
Hey, you just get piety. It's very nice. And I, I didn't really have interest in recruiting any of them, so don't care. Well, to Odin, to Freya, to Nordjder. Or I could go rub shoulders with the common folk, which will uh, make my people like me a lot more. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna, like, say, yeah, to the gods, make some guy like me more. Hjalmar? Uh, my goatee. Okay, yeah, sure. Because yeah, I don't think there's really a problem with my va- not my vassals, my, uh, my peasants, I suppose. Yes. Seems fine. Okay, so I need 125 gold to make the Duchy of Viken. Okay. Let's just raise my army as raiders and let's go to, like, England or something. Or France. Really, just anywhere where it's, like, rich. Yeah, let's go to Friesland. Ah, raider trade, huh? Hmm. Mm, I don't really want to gain stress, so... I don't want to lose prestige either. I guess I'll... No, oh, I lose prestige no matter what option I take. It's prestige or stress. Ah. I guess I'll take the... I don't want to have a truce with them, though, because I think that means I can't raid him. So, you know what? Screw it. Stress it as... You know, this is a smaller kingdom. And yeah, they're not even, like, bothering to defend against me. Bring me plunder? Uh, I've taken... No, of course I haven't taken enough. There's never enough to be taken. Yeah, bring me plunder. Yeah, they're not fighting me for some reason. Oh, these guys are a lot bigger than I thought they were. They're actually not even that strong, either. Huh. Imagine being that weak and being, like, one of the larger nations in Western Europe. Pff, pathetic. Uh, hmm. How's my loot? I, I still got plenty of room for loot. Bring me bounteous plunder, men. Yeah, we're just raiding, uh, what kingdom is this? Is it, uh, Lothringia? Huh? Alright. Another son? Eh, I don't like him. More plunder? Plunder, plunder. I love me to plunder. This is actually quite good. I'm making a lot of money from raiding in Europe. And I'm honestly quite surprised I'm not being fought back against. Like, they're kind of just letting me do this. And I'm gonna get increased night effectiveness by a lot, so yes, please. Oh, I'm full. I have to return home. Shit. I sure I'll gain five gold to cost of piety. I don't really like the other options too much. Well, uh, I could go back out and raid some more. I do have to be careful of Stalin, though. I, I need to get me, like, a daughter or something. A daughter so I can get an alliance with one of my neighbors. Ideally, Upland. Upland would be a good alliance partner because I don't need their land to form the North Sea Empire. In fact, I should look at what the requirements are for that. Uh, let's see here. If I could find the right place, that'd be great. Okay, so secure the High Kingdom of the North Sea. So, yeah, you have to be an independent ruler. You have to be illustrious or above. You have to completely control the North Sea Heartlands, which is, I'm assuming, Norway, England, and Denmark. Oh no, the Heartlands are not that. The Heartlands are a big chunk of Norway, a big chunk of Denmark, and a big chunk of England. But it's not all of those three kingdoms. Okay, what else do we have here? I have to have held the Kingdom of Norway, England, and Denmark for 30 years. And my highest held title is less than Empire. Oh, and Norse culture has not reached High Medieval. But yeah, we're nowhere near this, but... That is good to know that you don't need all of England, Denmark, and Norway. That does help a little bit, but I'm gonna probably want all of it anyways. Ah, ransoms, yes. I'll gladly accept your ransoms. Wait, you're telling me in all that that I seized I only got two prisoners? That's pathetic. The Duchy of Holland is coming after me, huh? Well, I'll gladly fight them here. Huh. Oh, wait, no, they do dare to fight me. I mean, I don't know what you expect to happen. Huh. You damn fool. Alright, let's go pop into France real quick. A Francia, whatever. Well, I'm gonna make a small detour. Uh-oh. It's fine. I'm very much pushing my luck here, though. Uh-oh. I gotta get out of here. Uh-huh. Well, this is not an even battle. Like, not at all. Like, I don't even know why the game's even saying that. Uh, yeah, that, there, there was no way I was going to win that battle, unfortunately. I got greedy, and I paid the price for it. Oh, well. Guess we're in Germany now. Or East Francia. Yeah. Oh, no. They're called, um... Kresna? Kresia. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, we're just gonna try to, like, just retreat through... Kresia. Try to get back home from here. But at this point, like, our army is just... Ugh. It's disgustingly small. Oh, well. I have another perk that I can grab. Never back down. That would have been nice to have when the French beat the shit out of me. Well, my army has returned home. Let's disband you guys. You need to <laughs> recuperate the losses, because that was extremely bad. A matter of life and death, eh? 
I guess I'll bet on it. Or could I stop it altogether? Nah, the chance of me stopping it altogether is low. Yeah, no, I'm gonna bet on it. Yep, I'll, I'm gonna bet on Bronky because apparently he's like guaranteed to win. Apparently, oh, I can see why. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but oh well, not much I can do about it. And actually, I can become a, a Yarl now. Yes, the Yarl of Vicken. Good. I'm now a mighty Yarl, and I will raise a rune stone to commemorate this day. My ascension to the throne of Vicken. And I have to choose where it's going to be. It's a clout rune stone. So that should really be in my capital. Yeah, so that would be Vestfold. There we go. Okay, well, once my army recovers from its losses, I think I need to consolidate Norway more. This guy has Bondi. So yeah, Bondi are spearmen. So I should probably look into getting some heavy infantry. And I now have a daughter. Good. Calling her Freya is a beautiful name. So I think allying with Upland makes no sense. What is this thing? It's so ugly, I can't tell if it's a male or a female. Oh, it's a female, there we go. That's also a female. Ah, crap. Yeah, Bjorn's loins over there are pretty bad at producing males. That's kind of annoying, to be honest. I'll have to wait then. Well, if I can't get an alliance with you, maybe I can get an alliance with... Who would I want an alliance with otherwise? That's a good question. Because I doubt I can get an alliance with, like, one of the Europeans. Especially not the guys I just raided, but... Uh, actually, I raided all these guys. Wessex? Because I'm not going to be invading England for a little while. I'm going to be consolidating power in uh, Scandi here. Nope, just got daughters. Well, I guess my daughter's useless for the time being. Although, I suppose I could just... I could train her to be a good warrior and then make her a shield maiden. I'll have to think about that. There we go. I'm starting a mass infrastructure project of uh, building sparring grounds. This will help me... Uh, push a little higher above my weight. I have another daughter. This daughter has a lith. A lith. <laughs> oh, poor daughter. Wait. Oh, child of concubine. I thought that was the bastard trait for a second. I was very confused. It's like, I'm a faithful man. I only fuck my woman and my concubines. I think. Probably. <laughs> another martial perk. King's Guard gives me four extra knights. Now, do I care about the left side? Romance, elope. Uh, don't care. Marriage acceptance? That could be useful. Spouse opinion and skills from spouse counselor tasks. Okay. Peace acceptance? That's... Eh, that's alright, I guess. Most, that's mostly used for bigger wars, though. Not what I'm going to be fighting anytime soon. Gallant is great, but the problem is you got to go through all the crap to get down to it. Well, I'm definitely going to be taking King's Guard plus four knights and all the extra effectiveness I'm adding on to my knights. I do quite like Overseer. I might take that for just, just how useful it is. Although this is a more defensive tree. And I, since I kind of want to go offensive and go raiding, I should probably go down to the strategist side. A Leviathan, huh? Well, I will gladly uh, hunt it myself, for I'm a hunter. Yes. Haha, -ha, 300 gold for the coffers. Good. <laughs> I'm going to convert this small child into my army. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not willing to be ransomed by their liege, so yeah, they're going to convert it into the army of mine. I need more uh, soldiers anyways. I'm, like, kind of low on champions. Hey, you know what? Let's go raiding. That's a good way for me to uh, get more soldiers for my army. Or, maybe I shouldn't go raiding. I should probably be consolidating power. That, that's the smarter idea. Because, yeah, I should at least be consolidating land in Norway to prevent, like, Upland from taking land over here. Yeah, that's probably the smartest idea. Let's attack my northern neighbor first, because they're the stronger one. Never mind. They've got a really good ally, which kind of prevents me from doing that. That's a shame. Never mind. Let's attack my smaller neighbor, then. I wish I could just, like, eat his entire land, but unfortunately, I don't want to subjugate him because he's going to hate me. So I would much rather just conquer his land and then give it out to somebody who doesn't hate me. Although that is slightly slower, unfortunately. But then again, I can't just go raiding afterwards. Alright, yeah, what is your uh, men-at-arms? A bondi, eh? Okay. I'm gonna want some heavy infantry. Well, they're all Varangian veterans. Varangian veterans are really good. They're, like, disgustingly good. Yeah, they, like, they're great in so many different terrain types. They're better in winter. Like, their stats, like, compared to regular armored uh, footmen, or heavy infantry, I suppose, are just absurd. I think I'm going to get me some Varangian veterans. 
yeah. That'll allow my army to just push real far above its weights. Although they're not going to come into too much usefulness during this war. Although, because of how expensive they are to upkeep, I might only keep 100 or so of these guys around. And yeah, I don't have access to siege equipment yet, so I can't worry about that. Oh well. Yeah, let's attack. Declare war. Uh, I have a claim. Why do I have a claim? Strange. I guess I'll declare war for the claim then, because I assume that would, that would cost 100 prestige versus the 50 piety. I'd rather spend the piety. Alright, let's move in. This should be another easy war. He's even running. Coward. Let's deliver a speech of unity. Ah, well, there's a fight now. I guess I'll join in on the fight. Ah, my son has the zealous traits. Yes, my son, you can definitely keep that traits. Although, what could I change it to? Brave? Brave might be better, to be honest, because brave is a virtue for our religion. Yeah, no, change it to brave. A bit of a shame, but... Although, I need to... Oh, I captured a valuable hostage. Can I just ransom him and then siege his other thing? Because I'd kind of prefer that. <laughs> I can, good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just going to farm him for a little bit of money. Like, that's kind of the reason why I came out here. Just get money and then... Well, money and people to fight in my army. I should not have ransomed this guy. Oh, well. Uh, let's go on a... Oh, wait, I can't go on a hunt because I am at war. Right. I have a martial perk. Let's start going down strategist. It reduces cast of ally costs, so that's nice and good. All right. I uh, can't ransom anybody, sadly. You... And your other prisoner friend. You are not being recruited into the army, but... Well... I might as well recruit him into the army. Yeah, let's let's recruit you into the army. I, I need generals right now, so the quality of the generals doesn't matter too much. Good. Uh, let's give this tribe out to... You know what? Let's give the tribe out to my finest warrior. I don't think I can see the prowess of characters on the screen. Damn it. And I will give it out to my greatest um, martial character, which is my champion here. Yes, you will have the chiefdom of Oster o Ogir. Yes. Lead it well, my friends. Okay, I've got some really bad champions, but most of my champions are pretty good. There's only three champions I would say I want to get rid of. Like, the rest, they're all good. Especially, oh man, Bragi here. You're a sexy beast, my friend. <laughs> Look at him. He's a massive chad of a man. It's fantastic. But yeah, like, this guy especially, Ulfafir here is, yeah, he definitely needs to go. But everybody else, at least, is not worthless. <laughs> yes, I have the option to do a blot, so let's go raiding, so I can get prisoners before the blot, so. Yeah, England's a bit of a mess, just pillaged by constant raids, so I'm gonna go back to the place I love, uh, Lotharingia. Nice, easy money. Uh, my son becomes content, fickle, or trusting. Ew, I don't like any of these traits, to be honest. Fickle, I guess, is probably going to be the best. Well, content's not bad. It just doesn't really fit a warrior. Eh, fine, you can be content, I suppose. And actually, can I have a hunt? No, because I'm commanding an army. Damn. Oh, well. When I come home, I will have a hunt, because I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, my glory is widely known, eh? From me pillaging Lotharingia. Yes, I am now a Viking as well. 2 Martial, 3 Prowess, 0.3 Prestige, a month, and other Vikings like me more. That's fantastic. And I have a daughter. Yes, I just need to find somebody to marry off my daughters too. And can I choose a... No, you are not learning. You are becoming a warrior, my son. That is the only option for you. Alright, back home to uh, Norway we go. Oh, I think my war camp just finished. Because I have a lot of levies all of a sudden. Oh, yes they have. And that means I need even more knights for my army. <laughs> Or champions, I suppose. Well, uh, did I get any good prisoners to recruit? A uh, small boy, doesn't know how to fight. A woman, nope. And another one. Well, I guess I'll ransom them. Well, I could sacrifice them to Odin. You're the spouse of a count. Yes, I'll sacrifice you in the blot. Every lord and commander in the Jarldom is invited, of course. You're here to ransom your son, eh? Fine, take him. I don't need him. <laughs> it's somebody's wife that I'm sacrificing. Ah, oh, yes, another perk. Uh, cavalry and skirmishers are better? Eh, no. Men-at-arms counter-effectiveness is up, though. That would be a good trait to have. My heavy infantry and spearmen, archers, and skirmishers are all better. And my army is faster. I like that idea. Yes. Yeah, I'll definitely take this middle path. Engineer for destruction. I don't have siege weapons, but naval speed is kind of nice. 
but I raid faster and have a higher supply. That is also quite nice. I think I'll have to go down the right path, middle path, then left path. And then I guess I'll grab sappers and probably strategists to finish it off. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, the Grand Blot. The tradition will matter. We will sacrifice that to Wife of the Count. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. And I guess we'll ransom out this child here. Ah, yes. It's Odin to Freya to Njordja. Yes. And my army is looking quite snazzy. Might be time to go north then. That would be a tricky war because, yeah, Stalin would join them. And attacking Stalin is out of the question because they have <laughs> so many allies. Although I do need to go north as Upland is also expanding to the north. And it would be kind of unacceptable to have to fight Upland for some of their land. Especially if I get that alliance with them that I want. I think I'll keep heading west for now. Let's conquer this county. Uh, well, I, I guess I could change the objective, but... Then I'll be getting into a little bit of border gore, and I would rather not get into border gore. Border gore is a filthy, a filthy, filthy thing. All right, raise the army. Let's head west. Oh, their army is tiny. In fact, I didn't even check their men at arms. Although, dang, I'm not too scared. Viggy men and Bondi. I should be fine. Get back here, you coward. Huh, <laughs> Craven. Running away from battle, eh? The gods will not be pleased with your cowardice. Oh no, he didn't run. Oh no. Tia, protect us. The Christians are mobilizing for great holy wars. That is not good. What else is not good? Ah. My son, yes, you will go become zealous. But I'm now overwhelmed with stress because I kept forgetting to go <laughs> hunting. Fortunately, though, I have a horse. So I will saddle my horse and get outside. But I must now go defend my capital because the enemy is sieging it. Yeah, that was um, a bit pathetic on their ends, to be honest. Oh, this man! Oh, he's a chunky man! Yes, he will gla I will gladly recruit this man in my army. <laughs> yes. The war has been won. Anybody that I care to recruit? Not particularly. I think I will ransom them back. He can't afford the full ransom, but that's fine. I'll be taking that land. And I will give this land to another one of my champions. So, not my vassal champion, just my... Uh, champion, champion. Whoops. Yes, I want fine warriors to be rewarded for their loyalty. Th those who are loyal to me gain land and greatness and glory. And will be probably guaranteed a good afterlife. But I must hunt because I'm very stressed right now. There's a lover's secret, huh? Between who? You and my cousin, huh? You know what? Let's make it official. I will allow you to marry your lover. Uh, who is your lover? Your lover is... Roggenhilder. Uh, let's see if I can even find her, to be honest. Alright, never mind. This list is massive. I give up. I saw nothing. <laughs> Ooh, it'll be expensive, but I'm tempted to upgrade my war camps even more. Make my knights even more effective. Oh, it's disgusting, and I love it. Who the hell is this? Uh, Vestor Gotlander. Okay. Uh, you do realize that you've kind of invaded Norway there, my friends. Oh, well. I will uh, fix your mistake for you, because you do not belong here. But, there is an issue. Who is your ally? Your ally is Smallland. And Smallland is quite powerful. They have Vigimen, Bondi. Ah. But a decent chunk of their strength is coming from mercenaries. I see. I'm not too scared of you. Although, ah, I can't get more Varangian veterans. Alright, so we'll hold off on a war for now. Let's go raiding. Get some prestige. Let's go to jolly old England. I'm sure there's plenty of gold to be stolen from the monasteries there. And I have a martial perk, good. Living off the land, extra supply and raiding speed. Very nice. Now if I could just get the, uh, what is it, the reaver traits? My daughter. She's glorious and smart. I love her. A son? Eh, uh, well, he's kind of shit, but I guess I'll take him. It seems like the English don't even want to fight back against me. This is good. The less they fight, the more money I make. My son is a reaver, huh? It would be quite beneficial to have him lead the armies then. For we will raid England faster with him. But you know what? Let's not worry about it for now. Ooh, a man! Yes, I would gladly pay 27 gold for him to join. Ah, good. I've raided the southern shores of England. Let's return home to Norway and count our spoils. You offer me a concubine. Thank you. My glory is great. I will take your concubine as a... A gift, I suppose. But as for the prisoners... Are there any good warriors here? 
No, they're all silly Englishmen who hardly know how to fight. A shame. Well, any prisoners that do not get the ransom paid? Well, they're going to Odin. Now then, how has the odds turned in, since I went to raiding? Ah, they're quite bad now. That's not good. Ah, it's because you've got another ally with Stjaland. You're very annoying, you know that? If I can't get that land, well, I'll get it one way or another. But Sweden exists now, yes? I think an alliance would be quite in order, my friends. We have many enemies around us. And it is only if we work together. Eh. You don't want to do it because I am a lower rank than you. I see how it is. Come, Erikson. We must talk. For I think you and I will make great friends. But as for people who will not make great friends with me... Well, never mind. I apparently still have a truce with them. How annoying, as I have a truce for another few years. Well, I guess let's go raiding again. I don't have anything better to do. Actually, no. Let's let the army recover some more. And I also want to get more Varangian veteran. That was unexpected. Good job, Chancellor. That's, uh, very good. Yes. You there. Never mind. We are coming towards you. In fact, I'm just going to conquer your whole duchy. Because I'm tired of you existing there. In my land. Wait. You have an ally. Who? Who what? I see one of your allies. Who's your other ally? This man over here in Scotland. Are you kidding me? Ugh, let's just, uh, don't worry about it, I suppose. Ah, I am now a reaver. This is good. I can raid better. Ooh, can I host a... Oh no, I can raise a runestone. I was expecting a blot. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I will definitely raise a runestone. It will speak of my victory and conquest. And what does this runestone do exactly? It raises control? It's just one problem. That's kind of useless to me. I guess put it in Vestfold, I suppose. There's not really a place that makes sense, so I might as well have it in my capital. The most important province. I'm more devoted to Odin. I'm now a devout servant of Odin. Good. And I also have organized marching. Make my army more effective, yes. Yes, you are really annoying over there with your ally overseas. There's too many alliances right now. I can't make a risk at expanding right now. At least not until my war camps have been built. Oh, my son, yes. How could I have forgotten to give you a wife? I need a great wife for you, my boy. Only the best wife with the greatest of traits to their either physique or their intelligence is fit for my great son. I'm not seeing many good options, though, unfortunately. They're either too young, too old, or too shit. I guess I have to lower my expectations a little bit. I guess this wife will have to do. She's smart, and that'll, like, combine nicely with my son. So they should make smart babies, I would hope. I need to expand. I don't like how weak I am compared to my neighbors. But you know what? They seem to be destroying each other. Can I go north? Potentially. I, I don't like how strong some of these bastards are. And I wish I could get an alliance with Sweden, but they refuse to help me. So until I become Norway, proper king of Norway, I'm not going to really be able to do much with them. And I need 16 de Jure provinces in Norway. Oh, you're telling me I could bribe Sweden. <laughs> I could bribe the king of Sweden to marry my daughter. <laughs> or at least have his son marry my daughter. You know what? I don't hate that idea. Arrange a marriage between... Yes, your son and my daughter. Good. He's much more willing to help now. After I bribed him. <laughs> yes, excellent. I now have a friend in this world. It's a dangerous world out there. Having a friend is a useful thing. And perhaps I can even call them to help me out with uh, a little problem here. Ugh, but can I rely on the Swedes to help me? I'm not sure. That's a tough ask. But let's just keep thinking about Norway for now. If Sweden were to help me, we would outnumber my enemy. They're also attacking somebody, although their war is probably quite easy. Well, maybe not. If there was ever a time to push, I think it would be now. If Sweden helps me, then, well, they are my brothers. My brothers in arms. But I will gladly help them if they need help in the future. Sweden, my friends. 
I require assistance. Thank you, my brother. Let's move north. Push these bastards out. Yes. They cannot stand against my champions. And I'm no longer wounded. Perfect. It'll be a great fight. <laughs> They're trying to siege Westfold, huh? That's kind of annoying. A new son has been born. Oh, it's attorney day as well. So many good things are happening. Yes, I'm going to, uh... Yeah, I'm going to give Arnie a few pointers. Which I... Yes, he's now a reaver. Good. Alright, we have to return home. Hopefully we can stop them in time. No! Those bastards! They took my son! And my other son! Oh, you're dead now, my friends. You have not seen the fury of the north! Yes! Kill them all! I will be getting my sons back! And if I have to execute their entire family, I will. We got Vestfold back. Now we need to push them out. I don't have a Chancellor. Why do I not have a Chancellor? Oh. I think my Marshal needs to be, uh, replaced, perhaps. Yes. I've got far better people who deserve to be Marshal than him. In fact, yes, my Councillors are just kind of weak. Although that problem has been fixed now. Good. Ugh, we need to fix Vestfold. Because he got occupied by these slimy bastards. No, you don't. Get over here. Coward, stop running. Ha ha ha! A splendid sight. Captured. You know what? No. Oh, you're poor? You're so unbelievably poor. I'm torturing you. It's more fun that way. Huh. You don't truly believe in the gods. <laughs> you're more a fool than I thought. Either way, release him. I'll be taking that land that's rightfully mine. Reward one of my great generals. Yes, you, Ragnar. Take this land with pride. Ah, my beautiful little kingdom is being built up bit by bit. And Sweden is a good friend as well. Fortunately, while they could cause me some problems, I feel like the problems they'll cause me are going to be outweighed by the help that they'll give me. But, I will have to end this here for... Well, I must rest. A Viking warrior, even a great Viking warrior led by Odin himself must rest sometimes. And so that is what I must do.